everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be talking about my five top tips for young and aspiring artists. Whilst I'm talking about that, I'm just going to be showing a little work in progress video of a piece that I'm currently working on and at the moment I'm working on the background. But the background isn't finished, I've still got the trees and stuff to put in. But this is just what I've done so far. I changed my mind a couple of times when I was painting the background, so I do change a couple of things as the video progresses. So I do paint over and change bits of the background as I'm working on it. Anyway, let's get into the video. So the first tip that I've got for young and aspiring artists is to get on social media as soon as possible. So social media takes a long time to grow, so it can take years to grow a substantial following. So the sooner you can get on to having a social media site, the better really. So what's really good about social media is that it helps you to establish your brand and find fans and people that want to buy your artwork or are interested in seeing your artwork. So if you start off doing your social media when you're at school or university or when you are first starting to consider being an artist as a full-time career, I would as soon as you make that decision get on to doing social media and uploading pictures of your drawings or artwork and start to get yourself out there in the art community. However, I'd also do this when you feel comfortable enough to show your artwork. So if you don't feel like you're at a skill level yet where you want to show your artwork off, that's fine, keep building on your fundamentals and keep working on your drawing skills. Because I understand that you might not want to go straight on social media sites if you don't think your work's good enough because you might not want people to remember you for those types of pieces that you've done early on. But as soon as you feel comfortable with the thought of going onto social media, then I would definitely, as soon as possible, get onto all the social media platforms. So my second tip is to not ignore criticism. So when you're a young artist, you might just kind of brush off the criticism or think, no, that's just my style, or get very annoyed when people try to give you criticism. And it's understandable, I think when I was younger, if people gave me criticism, you took it very defensively, and you thought if someone said something negative about your work, that it automatically meant that it was rubbish and not worth showing anyone. But just because someone has a bit of criticism doesn't mean that the work's bad overall, it just means that there's parts to improve on. And especially if you're a young artist, it's very, very rare that you're going to have done a piece when you're young and there'll be nothing to improve on. So I'd always welcome criticism and ask people, you know, what you think you can improve for next time and just use that to build on your next pieces and improve them. Because you want to improve and you want to progress, you won't want to stay at your same skill level. You want to look back in five years time and think about how much you've improved. And you're only going to do that if you accept the criticism and try to use it to better your artwork. So that leads me on to my third tip, which is to self-critique yourself and set yourself art goals. So what I like to do is after I create a piece, look at that piece and reflect on it and pick out bits that you liked and things that you thought you did really well at, but also pick out a few key parts that you'll want to improve on in your next piece and try to get better at that in your next piece. And that way you're always helping yourself to progress, but you're also acknowledging the things that you did really well and the positives for your pieces rather than just thinking negatively about them. You might also want to set yourself art goals, whether that's draw a certain amount every day or learn and build on a fundamental or stuff like that. Set yourself art goals so that you can see the progression and you have things to strive for. So my fourth tip is to try as many mediums and different styles as possible. Especially when you're young and you haven't gotten a name for yourself yet, it's a really good opportunity to try all of the different mediums and styles and see what you like best and what you don't like. And then when you want to start to build your brand and a name for yourself, you will already know what mediums and styles you like, so you can really have a cohesive body of work that will draw your audience in because they know what to expect from you rather than having really disorientated and random pieces of work. So also look for artists that you like and find styles from different artists that you like and let them inspire you and try out lots of styles whether that's cartoons, manga, realistic, photorealistic, abstract, all those kind of styles and just see which ones resonate with you the best. And my final tip for young and aspiring artists is to look at the marketing and finance side of being an artist and having an art career rather than just the drawing side. Because a lot of people think that if you're an artist you just draw all the time, but really that's just a small part of it. So really look into what an artist's life consists of, because you have to do a lot of marketing yourself on social media, setting up finances, you know if you want to sell artworks and prints you need to look at shipping equipment and how you'll want to sell them, so getting your own website, and also where you're going to focus your attention, which social media site, do you want to have a YouTube channel, and all that sort of stuff is really important to think about. 
as well as the fact that being an artist might mean that you're self-employed. You might work for a company as an illustrator, but if you're self-employed, then you might need to do your own taxes and all of that sort of stuff. And that's stuff that you might not know already, so you'll need to look into that. Because a lot of people have the artistic ability to have a full-time career in art, but not a lot of them will have the really good marketing and business skills to be able to promote themselves and get themselves out there, which is the most important thing. Anyway guys, that's my five tips for young and aspiring artists. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe as I have free new videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've got the social media links and a link to my online store in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!